You guys loved the Ask Spomi video I made last month so much that I was inundated with more questions for him. If you want to hear more, stick around and let's get into it. Hi, I'm Veronica and welcome back to The Wholeness Shift. I teach people about easy, practical spirituality, intentional living, and I help you to navigate your spiritual awakening. So if this sounds like something that interests you, stick around and see what we're all about. And if you like it, hit the subscribe button below. I would really appreciate it, and I wouldn't want you to miss anything good. Today we're going to be talking about my guide Spomi's answers to your questions. Just like last time, I've chosen five of them. So if you have one that you would like to ask me, feel free to send it to me. Either leave it in the comments here, email me, message it to me on any platform. You guys know how to get a hold of me. But just like last time, I'm going to clarify and remind you that I don't mean personal questions. I don't mean what is the name of your guide or anything about your, your personal situation. I mean if you have a general question about spirituality or anything else, feel free to send that to me and we'll see what we can find out for you. And also, just like last time, this video is sponsored by Keen. Keen is a website that hosts vetted psychics, mediums, tarot card readers, and many other subspecialties. They have a plethora of readers that you can choose from in order to get a very personalized reading for yourself. It is so easy to sign up for a session with them. You just plug in your information and boom, you're in. They were so impressed with the response that you guys had to the first video. They messaged me and asked me if I would please allow them to be a part of a second Ask Spomi video. And just like last time, they're offering you 10 minutes for only $1.99, which is a crazy good deal. So if you head on over to trykeen.com slash the wholeness shift, you'll be able to take advantage of that offer. There are a lot of reasons that I think Keen's awesome. First of all, they're open 24 seven, so there's no inconvenient appointment times, there's no need to wait around, they're available anytime you need them to be available. I like that you can choose from a list of readers or you can allow them to match you with a reader after a short little questionnaire. That way, if you really don't know who you wanna to talk to or what would be the best direction to go in, they'll give you one. I like that once you find a reader that you really like, you can favorite that reader and you can allow them to stay at the top of your favorites list. That way you can access them anytime you want. You don't have to go searching for them. I really like that you can choose to call or text them. You can chat with them because some people don't like to talk on the phone these days. And I know I said in the last video that I'm old school and I prefer to call and that's true. This time I decided to use the chat function that way I could report to you guys what I thought of it. And I actually liked it a little more I think. <laughs> I did. I like that you can keep the log of your chats afterwards so you can refer back to what they said. On the phone you don't really get that. I liked that they were really quick about it. It really it actually was quicker than the phone, I think, because on the phone I had to wait a minute or two before they picked up, and on the chat it was just a matter of seconds. I like that they're inexpensive enough that you can try more than one reader so that you can find the person that fits best with you, that you can find who you vibe with. Because if you've ever been to a psychic or a medium or anything anywhere else, you know that their rates can be really expensive, you know, 30 bucks, 50 bucks, and up. And with Keen, especially with this offer, 10 minutes for $1.99. Let's just say that in 10 minutes, I spoke to two or three of them. Like I would have my questions ready to fire and they would sign on. I'd ask my questions. They'd give me a quick response back. Boom, end of session. I mean, you can accomplish a lot in just a few minutes. So for 10 minutes, you can either get one or two really, really in-depth readings or you can get several little short readings. Okay, let's ask Spomi some questions. As with the last video, for the sake of time, I did use my pendulum and I asked Spomi the answers to these questions submitted by you guys prior to filming. And so I will read the question exactly as it was submitted to me and then I will let you know what Spomi has to say. Okay, here we go. 
Number one, does hell exist? If not, where did this idea come from? And Spomi says, no, religion, fear-based to control the people, mostly Pope. And I said, do you mean the Catholic Church? And he said, yes, used it for power. So there you go. Number two, does spirit understand any language? And Spomi says, yes. I said, is it because it's all energy? And he said, yes, but it's more knowledge of all languages. They just have that knowledge, have access to that knowledge. Number three, would you, meaning Spomi, come back to the earth if you had the chance to? And I already knew this answer because we've talked about it before. <laughs> Spomi says, no, absolutely not. <laughs> and I laughed and said, why? <laughs> he said, more true love here, divine love, more opportunities, more open-minded here, and I'm better able to help you in this capacity. Love you, <laughs> meaning me. We've talked about this before, and he has said that We've actually never lived a lifetime together on earth before. Um, we've never incarnated together. We are soul family. Um, we're very, very close. And I said, why, if we're so close, why have you never incarnated with me? And he said, because we agreed that I can help you the most with your journey from a guide perspective. So he's much more effective to help me in the capacity that he is right now. And as I was saying that, when I said he, this actually came to my mind. So I'm just going to share this quick little side note with you guys. You want to hear something funny? So Spomi presents to me as a masculine energy, as a male energy. And he presents that way to my daughter, Amelia, as a male energy. But my daughter, Madeline, sees him as a female. So, for example, the other day for Christmas, Maddie bought me a deck of tarot cards for Christmas and I had said I wanted some because you're not really supposed to buy yourself any. They're supposed to be gifted to you. So I'd asked for some and she said, well, we'll see what Spomi picks out. So on Christmas when I opened them and I was like, oh, are these the ones he picked out? And she went, yeah, I was in the store and she pointed right to them. So I see he, she sees she. <laughs> it's very interesting. So anyways, I digress. Moving on. I keep hitting this table. I hope you guys aren't getting too much noise from it. I'm like, <laughs> Number four. Do we still have relationships in the afterlife, like friends and partners? And I already knew the answer to this too, but I'll tell you what he says. He says, yes. And I said, is it the same as here on earth? And he said, absolutely not. <laughs> And I said, well, how is it different? He wasn't very forthcoming. He was very, like, one-word answer. He was Mr. One Word this time. And I said, well, how is it different? And he said, lots of ways. And I said, give me an example. And he said, it's more popular on earth to only love who you like. You look lots to the outside instead of inside. Not unconditional. Very different. And by outside versus inside, you're referring to looks and material things, right? Is what I said. And he said, yes. Number five. Can anyone that requests it be granted the gift of becoming a psychic medium? And Spomi said, no. And I said, why? And he said, because. <laughs> and I said, because why? I thought you said anyone who works on it and sets that intention can work toward it because it's our natural state. And I said, give me a reason why someone couldn't. And he said, trust issues, closed mind and heart, don't really believe it can happen. And I said, what if they did the work to overcome their limiting beliefs and to open their chakras and raise their vibes? And he said, possible, possibility. And I said, what would be the deciding factor then? And he said, higher self would decide if it's in their best interest. So there you have it. That wraps up this Ask Spomi session. I hope you found it fun and interesting. 
Remember, if you have any questions you'd like to submit for SPOMI that we can all benefit from the answers for, please feel free to send them to me. I would be happy to pass them along and see what he has to say. All right, you guys, I'll talk to you soon. Until next time.